Good morning and welcome back in this part. In this lesson, you will learn about some verbs that don't fall under the basic verbs rules. Our outcomes of today's lesson are First, we're going to learn and use new grammar rule, which is in the past simple. They are called irregular verbs. And then we're going to answer activity number 2 in our grammar book, page 86. To describe events that happened in the past, yesterday, last month, last summer, or long, long time ago, any time before now, we use the past tense. Let's remember together the holidays of Elsa and Beto. How were their holidays last year? Let's try to describe their holidays. We're going to start with Elsa. Where did they sleep in? Let's refer to the text to have an evidence. We slept in tents. So the answer is they slept in tents. That's right. How did they go to New York? Now we're asking about Beto. Let's try to describe his holiday. How did they go to New York? We went by plane. So they went by plane. We can notice here that the verbs were kind of strange. Slept rather than sleep. Went rather than go. We can say here that irregular verbs do not follow the rules like regular verbs. So sleep becomes slept. Go becomes went. Let's look for more irregular verbs from the text. We're going to circle the irregular verbs and make our own reference list. We had a great holiday in Mexico. Had. What's the present form of had? We had a great holiday. That's right, have. So had, have. We took our bikes. Took, take. We went swimming and cycling. Went, go, ate, eat. We slept in tents. Sleep. My sister told me stories every night. Told, tell. Good job. Let's move to Beto. I went on holiday to New York. Went. Go. I bought three pairs of jeans. Bought. Buy. We saw a play at the theater on Broadway. So. See. Great job. You already know that regular verbs can be changed from the present tense to the past tense by adding ed as in played, ied as in studied, only d as in closed. But, like many parts of English grammar, there are sometimes exceptions to the rules. The exceptions here are called irregular verbs. For irregular verbs, there is a special past tense form. Eat, ate, write, wrote, go, went. For example, I ate pasta yesterday. Now we're going to read this dialogue between Robert and Alice to notice how the irregular verbs are used. Robert, hi Alice. What did you do last weekend? Alice answers, 
I went shopping. Robert, what did you buy? Alice, I bought some new clothes. Robert, what did you do after that? I went home. I had my dinner. Alice answers. What did you eat? Robert asks. Alice, I ate pizza. Notice the, ver the verbs went, bought, went, had, ate. They are all irregular verbs. Now open your grammar book, page 86. Here are some common verbs that are considered to be irregular when changing from present to past. Let's learn them and try to memorize them together. We're going to complete the tables. Bring, brought, catch, coat, come, came, fall, fell, feel, felt, give, gave, hold, held, keep, kept. No, new. Put, put. Ride, road. Run, ran. Sell, sold. Think, thought. Throw, through. When, one. With some verbs, we only change a vowel. For example, come, came. Fall, fell. Hold, held. Sometimes the whole word changed entirely. Eat, ate. Do you remember? Feel, felt. Keep, kept. Catch, coat. Sometimes the verbs will stay the same. Put, put. So how will you know when verbs are irregular? The best way is to keep reading and writing. You will eventually learn the exceptions and remember them off the top of your head. Another way is to practice on fun online games and quizzes. And remember to always be a clever, hardworking student. Thank you so much for your attention. See you later. Bye-bye.